Hey there awesome viewers! Welcome back to Sully Tutorials. In today's video I'm going to show you 5 super handy title hacks for filmmakers using Filmora 13. We'll kick things off with a quick preview of these 5 cool title effects. Let's get started. At number 1 we're creating the typo effect. Open Filmora 13 and add your background video to the timeline. Next, grab the quick text tool and add some text to the timeline. Double click the text to edit it. Type in typo effect. Then bump up the font size to around 62. I'm using the traveling typewriter font there's a free download link for it in the description below. Head over to the animation tab. Choose the typewriter effect and set the animation duration to 1.50 seconds. For the out animation select fade one and also set it to 1.50 seconds. Now, go to the video panel and adjust the text position using the transform tool. If you want to tweak the text further, you can head back to the titles panel and customize it to your liking. I'll adjust the length of the text and background to match, and voila our typo effect is all set. At number 2 we're making the flicker flash title. Start by adding your media video as the background on the timeline. Then, place a quick text track above it, and set the title's duration to around 4 seconds. Double click the text to edit, and type in flicker flash. Set the font size to about 62 and choose the supercharge font. The download link for this font and other assets is in the description. Now, go to the video panel and adjust the title's position with the transform tool. Split the title into chunks every 5 frames and make sure this splitting matches the duration of your background video. Delete every other split section to create those empty gaps. This will give your title a flicker effect. And just like that, our flicker flash effect is done. At number 3 we're setting up the digital distortion title. This one's super easy. Go to the titles tab in Filmora 13 and search for Blue Glow S. Drag and drop this title onto the timeline. Double click to edit and type in Digital Distortion. Next head to the Transitions tab and find Glitch Blocks. Drag this transition to both the start and end of your title, and adjust the duration as needed. Now, add your background media to the timeline, adjust the duration and position of your title, and if needed, right-click the background image and select Crop to Fit to make everything look neat. And there you have it, your digital distortion title is ready. At number 4, we're going to create the Glow Switch title. Start by adding your background video to the timeline, then add a quick text layer on top. Double click the text to edit it and type whatever you like. I'm using the Supercharge Expanded font for this one. 
Adjust the position of the text using the transform tool, just like before. To give your text a professional touch, duplicate your background video and place it on the track above your title. We're going to use this duplicated video to remove the background around the subject. Select the video, click on the AI portrait tool and it'll handle the background removal for you. Now the key step, head over to the Transitions tab and search for the Glow Switch Transition. Drag and drop this transition onto the start and end of your title. And there you have it, your Glow Switch title is ready to shine. At number 5, we're designing the epic title. Start by adding a quick text layer to the timeline. Double-click the text to edit it, and type in epic or whatever you want. Choose the Poppins black font and set the title size to the maximum. To make it even larger, go to the video panel and scale it up from there. Adjust the size and position until the title fits nicely on the screen. Then take a snapshot of it. Select JPEG as the format for your snapshot and hit OK. Now, remove the current title from the timeline. Drag your background video onto the timeline. And add the JPEG snapshot to the top track. Adjust the JPEG's duration to about 7 seconds. And trim any excess from the background video. Time to animate the title in the JPG picture. Double-click the title to open the editing options. Add a transform keyframe at the start of the picture. Increase the scale to around 1049 and adjust the position to your liking. Move the playhead forward by 4 or 5 seconds and add another keyframe. For this keyframe, reset the transform values to their original state. This will create a smooth animation effect. Scroll down to the Compositing tool in the Image panel and select the Multiply option in the Blending mode box. And that's it, your epic title is complete. Thanks for watching. For more quality content like this, stay tuned to Sully Tutorials. See you next time.